Okay, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link to an external piece of web code or embed a version of that web code into your site. I prefer to have my content that I've developed outside of here embedded inside my website. That way my users don't get distracted with other hyperlinks. They don't get confused as to what to click on where. I can embed it right here within my site and get them to go directly to the content because it's right there on the page when they get into it as opposed to having one more link to click on. I'm going to show you both here again for our course and for our samples though I would prefer you to embed your content. So the first one is a simple hyperlink. Again this is the one I do not prefer you use. Um, I'm on my page, simple link to Prezi, I've, that's the text, of course I have to put something in there. I've got my Prezi open and running here and I'm going to come down here to where it says share and I'm going to simply click on this little copy link. Now depending on the resource, for example YouTube or Scoop It or Prezi, they may all have something slightly different in terms of how you grab this link. Sometimes it's a matter of highlighting, copying, and pasting. Sometimes they have this feature where you can click on it and copy it. And if you'll notice very quickly, it says copied. Um, now I'm going to jump back here and I'm going to highlight. And as I insert any kind of hyperlink, I'm going to highlight it, go to my hyperlinking icon. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to add the link to it, okay? Um, the next piece is, actually let me go ahead and update that super quick and show you what that change makes. Okay, so let me jump out and view that page super quick. Here it is as a simple hyperlink. Notice that I don't get any preview of it, don't know what it's going to. If I just click on it, it goes right to the Prezi here. Okay. Again, the downside to it is you get a whole bunch of other content that you may or may not want your users to, uh, to take a look at. Let me pop back to my dashboard and get back into that uh, particular chunk. Okay. The next way um, to get your content into your website is to embed the content. Okay, and again, this is the way I prefer to present my own content, especially to a K-12 audience so that they don't get distracted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop back over to my Prezi site. And again, each of these sites has slightly different uh, ways of, of going about doing this. But almost all of these sites, such as YouTube, Prezi, Scoop It, have a way of embedding the content. And it's different from sharing the hyperlink. Um, embedding allows you to grab the code that's going to actually put it within your site so that um, it's listed right there. Let me pop back one more time here. Notice here under Prezi, there's a little button here that says embed. Um, it gives me some options of width, height, um, gives me some options of um, what they can do here. But basically, this is the little piece of code that I have to use in my WordPress in order for me to embed this. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Notice that it comes back very quickly that it says it's copied. Now I'm going to jump over here. Now the secret to this is that the code is HTML code. So just like we've learned in our other tutorials, we cannot put that HTML code under the visual. We need to pop over to text and then I can paste it right there in my text. Now the thing to know as you get more familiar with it, when you're taking a look at this code here, you can see the width and the height here. Um, if you find that they're too big or too small and you want to on the fly edit them, all you have to do is come to this code and edit these. Now on the same token, if you wanted to do things differently like the viewers panning and zooming and constraining, there I would go all the way back to Prezi, make those changes and grab the code again. 
I'm going to go ahead and pop over to visual. Here it's going to give me a placeholder, but that's normal because it won't show in the editor itself. I'm going to go ahead and update my page and then I'm going to mm -mm, I'm going to go ahead and pop out to a view the page so I can see the end result. And here what we can see is the difference. Now I can actually see the Prezi starting right here. I've got my little title, the name that's coming in from the Prezi site, but I've got a link right here that says Start Prezi. To me, this is much more visually appealing to take a look at versus just the simple hyperlink up here. So for your instructional design course, please embed your code whenever you can. Thanks.